Hello, my name is Scott Ross, and uh, I was the founder of Digital Domain, the ex-general manager of Industrial Light and Magic, and now a professor here at Tatao. I've had the great opportunity to be able to travel through Asia over the last 30 years. I've been through the, the Japanese boom, um, and I've been through the Korean boom, and now I'm watching the Chinese boom. The Chinese have an attitude that they can do anything. Chinese culture obviously is a very deep and, and expansive and glorious culture with an incredible past and, um, and an incredible aesthetic. I think the Chinese feel comfortable with that aesthetic. Uh, the Japanese, when I worked back in Japan in the 80s and early 90s, felt like they were not a creative group of people. The Koreans, similarly so, felt that they were not, they didn't have that creative bent. Particularly as, a, as you know, we look at Chinese history in the last 50 years, things the light has now turned on in China. Things are now turning from black and white into color. Chinese youth, I think, are really invigorated and they speak their mind and they have opinions. It's the renaissance right now in China, so I think the future is very bright. I hope, though, that the Chinese community are open to the lessons to have learned uh, from the past and that they won't make the same mistakes as others have in the past and that they won't get fooled by the people who they think are the creative people in America and really take a risk and really find creative people around the world and more importantly support their creative community um, in an international light.